Are you visiting Philadelphia in 2022 and tired of all the touristy stuff? Today, we're gonna to be sharing the top attractions and places to eat you need to add to your itinerary right now. We plotted out this perfect itinerary, just an hour 20 from Moynihan in New York down to Philly, super quick. If you wanna see one of the best urban beaches in America, located alongside the Delaware River. Check out Spruce Street Harbor Park. It's a good place just to come hang out, especially when it's 90 degrees like it is right now in Philly. Any shade is good shade. Stay cool. Cold beer. Great view of the Ben Franklin Bridge. Perfect escape on a hot day in Philly right here. This is one of 69 restaurants around the world on Condé Nast Traveler's Hot List and a meat lover's dream. So all you have to choose is your entree and then automatically coming to the table is gonna be 10 different vegetable salads, uh, hummus, and then pita. What can you say about the culinary scene in Philly? Do you think it's underrated? I think it's definitely underrated. I'm happy that we are getting a lot more praise recently. All right, that short rib just came out. Here we go. Oh, mm, so full of flavor. I'm gonna dream about that first bite. I go to sleep tonight. Oh, I don't want to eat this too fast. I want to savor this. I think it would be a sin to eat this too quick. It's that good. Lamb and beef. I don't think I've had anything that made me want to cry. It's not New York allowed territory anymore. Oh, tequila and mezcal, deadly combination of flavor. For my New Yorkers watching, I know there's a lot of you, they have a laser wolf. In Brooklyn, you can't come to Philly. This hotel is something I have never seen traveling all over the world. Filtered water down the hallway. Refresh, refill, repeat. This hotel has got, it's definitely got charm. It's got a boutique angle. Even like the, the lighting fixtures up there and the way it's designed. Gives you a very hip vibe. Also a big fan of the artwork on the walls. Nice views uh, out the window of Philadelphia. A little retro phone action here too. Oh, that's soft. I love soft beds, okay. They've really towed the line here between a fancy hotel and like modern hip. This hotel's definitely got some style. Definitely got style. If you want to shop local in Philly, Verde's your spot. Verde is a jewelry, women's accessories, and gift shop. We also carry a line of Marcy Blaine artisanal chocolate. We make them in the back of the store. I mean, Philly always keeps it real. <laughs> we have lots of unique boutiques and shops that I think reflect the city as a whole. Restaurants, ice cream places, all the things you want to see coming into Philly. <laughs> Bar soap. How did they know I was coming? Barco. <laughs> All right, so Adriana's into art. Got her little notebook, funny socks, salty chocolate. It's perfect, perfect group gift. Oh, and sorry, you're old. I'm older though, so I can do that. So it's called the Rothman Rink, right? Yeah, the Rothman Orthopedics Roller Rink at Dilworth Park. They should check this out because it's only here for a couple months. We open in April, we close in July. Plus, you're right in front of City Hall, you're right in Center City, so you can go roller skating. It is $8 for adults, $5 for children, and the skate rental is $5. What if I haven't roller skated in like 30 years? 30 years, you might have a little bit of trouble, but we have some good accessories for you. We have these like adult walkers that you could just <laughs> lean on. I don't know if I need that. I don't know. I've seen men, women, children kind of like do a whole backflip, get up and go back at it. But I feel like those guys just hang on the wall right there. That might be wall my style. Wall hugger, yeah. How you doing? It's tough? Ben's just waiting for me to fall. I know it. This is like, whoa. This is kind of scary. So you've never done this before. You're just a, a natural. I think I'm just good with speed. I just love speed. This is kind of cool. How about I don't fall? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Boom, like a pro. Thank you. Oh, oh, we earned these beers. We earned these beers. High Street Philadelphia is a killer combo, a bakery and a restaurant in one. 
a lot of tasty options. Philly's great. It's just a real amalgamation of so many different cultures and flavors. And I think our head chef, Christina, does a really great job of harnessing all of that. We were talking about the roast pork earlier. Our roast pork sandwich is fantastic. But we make kimchi out of broccoli rabe as one of the components. This looks just mouth-watering. Look at that. Look at that. Taking a big bite. I want some of that kimchi. I love kimchi. Mmm. You know, kimchi is definitely adding a lot of spice and flavor to a roast pork sandwich. I'm used to being made a certain way, but I like what they did here. BNG pepper aioli, lettuce, tomato. You know, when you come to Philly, you don't have to get just unhealthy cheesesteaks. Look at this healthy turkey goddess sandwich with challah bread that was baked in house. My mouth is absolutely watering. Mmm. The turkey actually has flavor, which isn't always common in certain sandwiches. And I love all the sauces and dressing. It just meshes together so well. And this challah bread, I mean, it speaks for itself. I mean, you, can, you can do healthy in Philly, plenty of healthy options. This is just one of them. It is literally one of the coolest events you can come to all year. Anyone who's a fan of flowers, just look around you. Look at these crowds, this is a fun atmosphere. So we've been around for almost 200 years. So there's a long standing tradition here in Philadelphia. We have great music. We have a food bazaar that has unbelievable collection of different foods with live music every single day. And you're outside. Hey, just come enjoy nature, enjoy the weather, um, and enjoy a nice cocktail and a drink and the flowers around you. This is one of the most popular exhibits here, the mushrooms, which I just learned are flowers. And you can smell them too. Yeah, it is, it's strong. This place is absolutely massive, 15 acres, hundreds of thousands of flowers and plants. You know, people spend hours at the flower show. You can do shopping, you can get food, plenty of alcohol, drinks as well. So this isn't something you come to for 15 minutes. You can spend all day here. Oh, it does sound like the fry a little. Very interactive show. The great thing about Philly is you can find food from countless countries here and Casa Mexico is a prime example of that diverse culinary cuisine. So the, the chef and owner, Christina Martinez, award-winning, well-known in Philadelphia. So you know you're in good hands here. And this whole area has Mexican restaurants right in the Italian market. So you can hop around, but this, this is a good spot. Sopa Azteca, I actually have not ordered this in a really long time. I wanna get some of the tortilla though. Where is it, food, okay. No, it's good. Mm. All right, they recommended I get the shrimp taco. It looks amazing. Let me take a big bite of this. I don't know what this sauce is on top, but I'll probably knock out five or six of these easily. There we go. Ooh, a little spicy. I like it. Real good. If it's your first time visiting Philly, make sure to watch our guide for the top tourist attractions. You don't want to skip any of this stuff, trust me.